Juxtaposition. It's a powerful literary device. In the age of social media, it is often used as a tool to attract attention. And it works. The Chinese are using it as a tool to mock India. But their sense of humor is sickening. Look at this post. It's from the official Weibo account of the CCP's Political and Legal Affairs Committee. As is evident, this post juxtaposes a successful space launch in China with an image of funeral pyres in India. You think that's disgusting? Look at the top comment. It says, China sending people to space, India sending people to heaven. This sort of vulturism is a common sight on Chinese social media right now. Many in China see India's suffering as an opportunity to mock it. Who celebrates the sight of burning pyres? A government that is morally bankrupt. And this is the worst side of China that we've seen so far. Mao Zedong, the founder of the People's Republic of China, once famously said, not having a correct political point of view is like having no soul. The irony of this statement in today's China hasn't been lost. At a time when India is grappling with a devastating second wave of the Wuhan virus, the country of its origin seems to be finding pleasure in India's suffering. The state-run Weibo accounts are sending out insensitive posts like these. China ignites versus India ignites. Juxtaposing a space launch in China with cremation pyres in India. What's worse is that the account that posted this image is linked to the Central Commission for Political and Legal Affairs. A powerful organ of the ruling Communist Party, which oversees law enforcement in China. The post has now been deleted. Just like this one, which compared China's Fire God Mountain, an emergency hospital built in Wuhan, with what it called the Indian Mountain of Fire, with an image of mass cremation in India. When asked for a clarification on this abominable sense of humor, the Chinese foreign ministry feigned total ignorance, hiding behind the excuse that the posts can no longer be found. But the Chinese state media is awash with such comparisons and commentary. Guancha, a state-run website, carried this headline on Saturday, mocking the Indian prime minister for praying at a shrine. The Global Times carried this headline last month, saying India cannot afford a China decoupling as the virus rages. Such attempts to stoke nationalism by deriding other nations is not a new trend. The Chinese media and China's wolf warrior diplomats have a long history of mocking the world. Just this week, the Chinese embassy in Japan posted this anti-Semitic tweet and deleted it. The post carried the image of a Grim Reaper wearing an American flag and carrying a skith with the Israeli flag, going from one country to another, leaving a bloody trail behind him. In November 2020, Xiao Lijian, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson, posted this, a digitally altered image that appeared to show an Australian soldier slitting the throat of an Afghan child. And during the 2017 Doklam standoff, state-run Xinhua news agency released this video, parodying Indians for the way they look and speak. For China, such posts may win likes and shares from a few hardliners, but at what cost? Eroding China's already dismal international reputation. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.